Hi friends, welcome to my review of this, the Nerf Rough Cut to buy 4 So, I uploaded the unboxing, which I will leave a link down in the description down below, or there will be an I, and there will, and there will be the unboxing. So, I'm here on the measuring section, where we will shoot our guns, and we will measure this by these stones. We have 7 stones from the 0 meters mark to the 30 meters mark, they are all separated with five meter with five meters and yeah that's practically the range and let's get into the shooting and into the review let's do this so now let's get straight into the firing test and then we'll go over to my opinion and how it felt so we're going to start with the first shot we're going to do one shot Angle shot. There's another angle shot. And this is when we do them separate. That's one. And the other one is not true. The other one is not true. The other one is Okay, so now let's go and see where they landed. So, thank thankfully, no, nothing landed from zero to ten meters. No, actually, one landed. This was one the first flat shot of the two. So first one landed right here. Second one landed in this back bracket. So here, that landed at about nine meters. And here we have a very big grouping, which is very satisfying. All on the same line, like about 13 meters. And here we have another one trailing a bit behind. Then we have one exactly on the 15 meters mark 15 meter mark and then really good we have another one a few more than 15 meters we have this is the farthest one which is about 16 meters so on the books they claimed 20 meter ranges so what does that mean so they're a little bit off of their ranges 20 meters 60 meters so it's still good it's a good blaster really powerful I find this as a really comfortable blaster, like the handle grip and even how it's positioned, you don't have to go like this, it's really comfortable just even to one hand, one hand is obviously you have to prime it, which is a very comfortable priming grip, but for large hands it's kind of small, but for kids it's really good, the prime is not that hard and it shoots two at a time which is really good and it looks amazing. So, and you have one tactical ray, I almost forgot. So, my opinion, it's a pretty cool blaster and really good. Um, ranges, ranges wise, it's not the best of, of them all. They are definitely better than this. But for a budget, this is a really good blaster. And it's comfortable. If you're in an HPC or something like that, really you only have eight shots, but it will last for long and you, and you will have fun with it in your hand won't get tired of it so yeah that's practically it for this firing test and review and i hope you enjoyed it see ya